hello guys welcome back to a new vlog i think i am currently at my orientation it's a virtual and we're on break so today is basically day one of my job so we made it honey and i wanted to start off by talking about what i was ending the last vlog with talking about nervous about starting corporate and really what i was trying to get at was the fact that so for the past two years I was in grad school and before that I was in undergrad so that's six years of school and just transitioning into this corporate world this girl I don't want to say girl boss but corporate world woman in corporates but I'm not in school so the status quo for me was always go to class go home go to class go home and while I was home I would work on assignments papers projects or read or sleep or that, that was probably the main two things I would do especially in undergrad I would sleep a lot because of the stress and just the change in routine and I never really got into a good flow a good routine in grad in grad school for some reason and now that I'm entering this new chapter I'm looking forward to getting into a routine I'm looking forward to understanding that the status quo isn't always spending my time when I'm not at work at home or online you know scrolling endlessly it doesn't have to be that um it can you know it can be going to events it can be going out to whatever I want to do restaurants museums parks my hobbies it can be that and that that's not bad you just I deserve that I'm speaking to myself I deserve that and so that's just something that I'm excited for but kind of nervous about that transition because for me transitioning into new routines and into new patterns can always be nerve-wracking but I think being organized is the best way to prevent those nerves I have a calendar up here I have been journaling and just really planning my days I'm making sure that I'm starting my mornings with exercising and getting into a good night routine taking some time off my phone and just really doing what makes me happy and what makes me fulfilled even if that means sometimes going somewhere else for lunch or or um if I have a work from home day not necessarily doing it at home but going to a coffee shop just making sure I'm spending time outside of my my home and understand there's nothing wrong with that and that I can do that in a safe way there are ways to be safe when you're out alone so I just wanted to get that off my chest. I hope that helps if you maybe are experiencing the same thing. Um, we started orientation at nine. It's pr pretty much gonna go all day. I got a few text messages. Pretty much gonna go all day, so. Hi guys, so I'm working from home for the first half of the day. It's, okay. It's almost nine. I have a one-on-one -on -one at nine. Um, I just had a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not gonna lie. I woke up a little late. I wasn't late for the meeting, but I couldn't really get everything together, like my lighting. So basically, for work, we have laptops, but I left it in my office. So I'm using my personal laptop. And so trying to run my entire outlook trying to run my entire outlook and have a meeting here's my light so what i'm gonna do is i'm it's confusing what i'm going to do is here we go because after this i'm getting ready i'm gonna leave because i have another meeting not until two and it's also online but i'll just be in the office um but what i'm gonna do is write down what i'm reading with I don't even have my mouse. I was just unorganized this morning. What's his name? Mm -mm. Okay, but what is his role? This? Mm. Oh, okay. Manager in your diagnostics. Yeah. And then I got my questions that I usually. So usually I use my iPad when I'm in person in the office meeting, but. Um, I'm trying to copy some stuff. Oh my God, is this gonna work? Ready for this? Boom. Copy from the 
iPad to a laptop. So I'm gonna put my meeting on my phone and I have my light. And my camera's about to die, so I love that. I'm gonna this to myself. So, oh gosh, camera look crazy. Um, light. So, so that, oh! <laughs> yeah. I did it right here on my laptop. So when I'm on my phone. Boom, there we go. My best friend just texted me. I have a meeting right now. Seven minutes. I'm ready. I'm set up. I got my light. So now I can talk to y'all. So this is officially week two of my corporate job. And it's been fun. It's been great. It's, you know, I'm glad that I decided to do this. Um, I do have a, just a lot of organizing to do. Last weekend, I didn't really get to organize a lot of stuff for work that I wanted to because I had family obligations. But one thing I've noticed is I think I'm still stuck in that routine of being a student where, I'm, I mean, I am, I do consider myself a researcher. I'm constantly trying to learn things because I don't believe there's a limit to the things that I can know and understand. And I'm a teacher at heart in a way, but I find myself while I'm at work thinking about, okay, what do I need to do when I get home? Like, what do I need to type or research? And kind of like that school mindset. But as I get more comfortable in my role, I think that'll start to not be as prevalent. Um, but I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get dressed for work and leave. just got home from work this is a day two wash and go and the curls actually look really good um so let me go back to the bathroom let me come to the well this looks better the curls look really good I, this is probably my second year of understanding my natural hair and doing my natural hair. Am I getting sick? Um, so I can show you what products I use later. But I, when I was first learning how to do my natural hair, I would get discouraged because my wash and go would only last maybe two to three days. Or if we're really stretching it. And so I've been really trying to find new hairstyles to do with older wash and goes but i really like this this is day two and it's just oh my gosh it's just so i love the length i love like it's like the perfect amount of curl the ones at the front are even curlier but i'm gonna try this hairstyle where um, I braid kind of the front. I saw it on Pinterest. And I mean, I can show you guys the video. She basically braided the front. Not braided. Twisted in two layers. And then... And then basically she just raised the, the back out. So that's what I want to do. And then I have another hairstyle idea for the next day. But this is like how I do it, like just a side part. And then I used to kind of like do like a half back, half down, but let's do this hairstyle. Good morning. So I did the hairstyle. Um, This side came out better than this side. I could not get it together. It took me about an hour. I had to do this side twice, but this is how my hair looks the next morning. The curls are gonna fall as the day goes on. So it's 7.30 in the morning. I wasn't gonna go in, well, let me get my phone. And probably my AirPods and my water. So I didn't plan on going in today. But, because I don't, everything that I have to do, I could do for my computer. But, it's only my second week on the job. And, 
I'm supposed to be meeting with, well, yeah, I, not officially, but it's my first week and, you know, part of what I'm trying to do in my role is gain mentorship. So it's good to have a good image and just be there and show face. So my first meeting today, whew, I'm really tired. Um, I was thinking, I was dreaming about chai tea latte and bagels and stuff but i don't want to drink coffee this morning because i've had coffee a lot <sighs> so my first meeting is at 9 30. so i'm going to do my morning routine and then um take my meeting and then i'm going to do my morning routine get dressed take my meeting and then head to the office um so my morning routine at first i start by obviously brushing my teeth and doing my skincare just finished doing my skincare and since I have a little bit of time, I am going to make breakfast. So I'm going to make, which reminds me, I need to find a lunchbox. Alrighty, so I'm going to make breakfast. And then I like to listen to Rebecca Lynn Pope, a life coach that really inspires me. I like to listen to her in the morning. I'm kind of binging and making sure that I'm watching every single one of her videos because I stopped at the beginning of the year. I kind of took a break but now I'm going all the way back down in order and watching every single one of her videos not the live ones but um what the heck okay you gotta zoom in and focus on here um but she also has live videos so I can watch those when I have more time um and then I really should also be so I have a devotional that I read two years ago, but I'm gonna pick it up and read it again. And then I have a journal, and then I'm supposed to be reading my Bible. But to be honest, like I'm slacking. Um, and I I know the last chapter I read in the Bible, but I need to read it again before I listen to the podcast that I listen to that goes over three chapters at a time. If you're on a Bible reading journey. Um, I, I can read over my summaries of it. So um, I'm going to do that and I'll show you guys probably what I wear, whatever. Um, but I'm probably going to end the vlog here. This wasn't much I could show, but it was just kind of my in-between. Um, but speaking of the Bible, so growing up, you know, I was raised Christian. But these past few years, there's not a church that I've been attending or anything. In college, I did not attend a church. I went a few times, but didn't go consistently. I kind of wonder what I was doing with my Sundays now, probably studying. And then in grad school, I did not go to church on Sundays. There was one, but and I researched it, but it didn't seem like the kind of church I was looking for. And there was another one that also didn't seem like a good fit. But now I'm home and I have my family here. And so my family never goes to a church here in Atlanta. And so I went with them last Sunday and I liked it. It was smaller, it was intimate. And so it's gonna be on me to decide if I really wanna keep going there. I want to kinda of have a routine for my days, for my weeks and going to church really put me in the right mindset. I love a good message. I love a good, not even inspirational message all the time, but just a real and authentic message that will help people heal. And I really got that at the service on Sunday. It was small, intimate. And I kind of left there thinking things were on my subconscious. And then for Monday morning, I had a very early start, but I felt re-energized because of that great message that I had. So I think I've, you know, I'm interested in being in a church, the community aspect, the volunteer opportunities, just everything. It's another network to be a part of. I don't have, you know, a huge friend network group. My one of my best friends is here in Atlanta, but she's in med school, so. She's busy every day. And then my other best friend is close by, but she's in grad school. So, you know, people are busy with their schedules. Um, and so it's not like I can hang out with my friends every single day. Like it was when we first met when we were in college and we weren't as busy. Um, so it's on me to find new connections and, you know, relationships, platonic and all that. So I'm about to fall asleep as I'm talking to y'all. Maybe I'll go get some coffee. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all. Bye.